Yes, the ever-evolving chaos of BMX streets continues. This is day three of me doing pretty much daily videos on this game. A bunch of updates have just come out fixing a few concerns. And I've also found out a few cool little things which I want to show off. So first let's look at the patch notes. Sean Burns game crashing issue. There's actually been two updates today, so Mash is busy at work. It used to be when you select Sean Burns, he'd crash the game essentially. So now you can actually select him. Camera shake toggle, that was making people sick. So having that toggleable is a big thing. It also will help me doing rail rides at speed because the shake screwed me up so much. Camera lock invert toggle, I'm not entirely sure what that is. I'll maybe have a look at that later. Foot jitter with cassette hubs. Cassette hubs were kind of broken, made tricks look weird, pedaling, all sorts of weird stuff happened with those. That should be fixed, hopefully. And left foot forward tuck up tweak directions. I'm not entirely sure about that one either. I know the tuck ups looked a bit weird, so I'll maybe try them out and hopefully they look a bit more natural for me because I'm left foot forward. Anyway, let's get into the game. I want to show off a cool new map. So I've just loaded into the map, but before we even get going looking at the map, I've noticed my bikes have glitched. Like, I made this one last, but now it seems to have like bled into the other designs. Like, two and three are now the same with a different C, and they've rims orange, and that was only originally for bike number one. So we may have just found a new bug that's like affecting parts two and three of your setup. I don't know. Immediate bug that I found, so uh, yeah, a little report there. Anyway, getting into it, this is the park I was talking about. It's in the game, it's not a modded map or anything. And from what I've played of it, it's actually maybe my favourite area. There is a condition though, you need 100 stars to get into this area. It's hidden in the map. And I'll show you the way to it. At the minute, I have 147 stars, so I think just under half of the total. And yeah, if you want to get to this, I'll show you how. Go to the map. Go to this downtown section. Okay, so we've spawned in. And now fast forward and show you the route to get there. I didn't actually know about it until I looked in the Discord server. And here you go. You can see it says 100 on it, so it's like a condition you need 100 stars to get in. If you look on the map, you notice the stadium that's just under the industrial text. That's also another indoor park, but it needs 200 stars, so I can't actually get into it at the minute. But just note that's another area that you can also spawn into once you've gone inside. So when you walk up to it, you get the option to enter, press Y. And here you go. You get a spawn point here, you also get some missions, I've actually cleared them already. And today I just kind of want to focus on doing some fun stuff. I've been complaining about the game, I guess complaining, like discussing the various issues with it, covering it, that sort of stuff. So I do want to just be a bit more creative and try some fun stuff for a change as we wait for the game to kind of get fixed and evolve. Wait, that can can to the right, went to the left, and now it's not registering. I kind of screwed up. Let's try again. Oh. Yeah, doing it to the right, it goes to the left for some reason. Yeah, both ways it's going to the left. And I don't think it used to do that. So I think we found another glitch. This is actually a beta branch of the game. If you get to the beta branch on Steam, you'll be able to download this. I guess it's still a work in progress and it's causing other glitches and crazy things to happen. So uh, yeah, take it all with, I don't know, a pinch of salt maybe. Weird things are still happening in this game and they may be happening for some time to come. I am trying to focus on being a bit more kind of positive, making the most of what we have because I think we're going to have to be in it for the long term if you want to get everything you need out of it. Unfortunately. Sweet. I will say I am kind of getting more acclimatized to the game. It's definitely a labor of love, like you've already got to put in the time from what I can tell. Like figure out the pumps 
and all that stuff. That's its whole mission on itself. If you haven't seen the old potatoes video on how to pump, I'd definitely watch it because it helped me as well figure out like like getting that extra bit of speed down, up, down, up, hop, down, up. I don't know. I need to practice it. I haven't had a chance. Wait, hold on. We may have found another glitch, people. I'm braking, but he's not actually jamming his foot in the tyre. Weirdly enough. We go to settings. Is this just, like, some issue with left foot forward that's happening all the time? Oh, camera shake. Let's turn that off. For sure. Okay, left foot forward. Yep, he's jamming. Go left again. And now he's back. There's still issues with left foot forward. I'm kind of stubborn and I keep playing with it on. But my recommendation is probably don't do left foot forward because it's causing a lot of weird glitches for some reason. Sweet. Oh, we need to do some like tech ledge stuff actually. That's one thing I want to work on. I'm also filming an edit. I've actually got some pretty good stuff so far. I don't know when it will come out. In the next few days probably. I do want to get more kind of acclimatized to the way the game works. Before I feel confident enough. Like especially these grind combos. I think there's a lot of potential. Crazy stuff. Like gaps and things like that. But again definitely going to take time. I don't think anybody's fully like amazing at everything yet, unless you're like the old potato who's had hours to play the game. But we are getting there. It's probably best to think about it like pipe. It's got its jank, but you kind of get used to it over time and then work with it. Well, hopefully a lot of it will get fixed. Because some of it's like bad jank that we don't want. But I don't know. It is what it is for now. I'm not going to apologize for it, but I'm also not going to like let it hold me back because I've done edits on BMX the game for Christ's sake. I can figure this out. Oh, close. Oh, one more thing. You know this, like, flat spot on the tyre that you can see? I ride straight, so you can see it. Apparently, by changing the PSI, you can fix this. But I keep adjusting it, and it still happens. But I've heard from Mash that he's actually going to take this out of the game. PSI wasn't properly implemented. It was supposed to be in there, but then didn't happen because of time. So this should be fixed at some point, so you won't have to deal with it anymore. We got a bomb. Still can't get crooked grinds super consistent. Like, I feel like I've got to work pretty hard to get those working. Ooh. Sorry, I'm doing a lot of whips. I've got to figure out other tricks a bit more. Uh. a cleaner bonk but it was off at a weird angle should probably work on some rail tricks as well like filming these is kind of reporting on the game but also like my own research if that makes sense I'll try one or two more times to see if we can get that stall on the rail and then we'll do some other rail tricks Good at bonking it. Oh, 
Ugh. He looked ugly as hell. But I got something. And like a... Uh, not quite a disaster. Okay, let's try some rail tricks next. It's most definitely not a rail, but... Sweet. Oh, yeah. One thing. Getting out of fakie. Actually... Just have started using the right stick. Press it in. It's good for little 180s, like it's a cleaner option than this. Especially at speed. Or oh, maybe the opposite. At low speed. I find. Let's see if we can get a good example. He really struggles to turn around. But if you're at low speed and you do the stick hop. Come on. You do get a nice clean 180. So if you're kind of struggling with those at the end of lines or whatever you're doing, I would recommend trying it. Right, so this rail seems like a perfect candidate for trying some longer stuff out. So let's maybe give it a go. Lean over. Bam. That was over to Smith. Yeah, those look way better. Get out of fakie. Toothpicks are super hard because he immediately leans over. This is something I talked about in the last video as well. The lean is immediate, so I don't know how you're supposed to kind of finesse it to fall down. I kind of want to land into a crooked, but it's so sketch, I'm not sure it's possible. Stuff like that happens. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get that to be honest. Interesting. Using the right stick and pressing it in will give you that little hop. Which could theoretically put you in like a natural rail ride. That wasn't like a hold the triggers to get into it type of thing. That just, yeah, you can see me balancing manually. Did it get a little bonk as well? Kinda. So yeah, you can definitely see where the potential for this kind of stuff is. Should it work? Let's get another look. Maybe from the side. Okay. It's a feeble... Wow, he hopped into a nice pick, which isn't all that special. You could literally just lift up the back end to do that. But it does show you can go from grind to grind using that stick press. Let's try some other variations. Sweet. Again, didn't look great, but that's kind of because I didn't do it very well. It's all kind of new, and I'm trying it out for the first time. But the potential is there to get that sort of stuff working pretty well, maybe. Okay, let's try something else straight away. Let's lean over a little bit. Hmm, you may have to lean over more than you expect. Getting to rare rides pretty consistent, like natural ones, so no lock in. Yeah, you can combo different grinds together. Okay, I'm learning something. I'm getting somewhere, and hopefully, this is kind of giving you some ideas as well. Let's try pumping this properly. Yeah, you definitely go higher when you're pumping.
sweet. That's very me. So just to show it off. Tooth. The fakie manual again. Because of the manual balance, it looks jank. You could probably keep working on it and make it look pretty clean though. He really wants to get off that rail, doesn't he? See? The ability to come up with like infinite combinations of grinds to manuals to those sort of things on ledges is what was getting me really excited about the game originally. And I do hope that as it continues we'll be able to get to do that stuff more easily. It feels super hard and sketch at the minute. Which is nice in a way, because it means only the crazy people are ever going to figure it out. But, you know, in terms of accessibility and having people enjoy it, it would be nice if it worked. I really want to see if Feeble 180 to Feeble is possible, but I'm not entirely sure. You can probably look it out at some point, but it's taking a lot of effort, basically. I got it to Smith. Yeah. So we could have balanced that the whole time, and that would have been a pretty interesting trick. It shows that sort of those sort of combinations are possible. Again, you have to finesse it and probably take your time, but still doable. Kind of ice pick to fakey ice pick. I'm just testing out like the theory of will some of this stuff work. It's not going to be clean. If I ever do get it clean, I'll probably put it in an edit or something like that. But consider it as me testing stuff out and also letting you know. Holy shit. Sweet. Oh, okay. We're on a roll. For now, at least. We were on a roll. I'm screwed it. It's one of those moments where it's like this pressure to keep going and do cool stuff, but then you're just completely like screwing it up. Your manual to grind. Why did it take so long to do that? So cheeky little nose. To ice pick. It was almost a 360. He was so off balance, he forced himself around 360 degrees, which is kind of impressive. Ugh. Okay, let's try something on this rail. Let's try and get a crooked. So if we can get them consistent. No, we can't. So last off, trying some 180s into grinds and then seeing if we can do another trick after that. I'll turn the grind spin assist on because I think that may help a little bit. Holy hell, what was that? The 180 into a smith which fell into a crooked then we hopped and it turned into another smith somehow just goes to show though like if you keep working at it pretty much any kind of grind combination is possible it just won't be easy yes okay Nice, it was clean as well, so I may actually use that in my edit. Sweet, ending it on a high note. One more thing I wanted to show was, now that he's selectable, let's go to Sean Burns, who looks slightly insane. And I also wanted to kind of introduce the insanity that is... Can we leave? Okay. The trike, 
because I've got over 100 stars and I have access to the trike and it's the most demented thing you could ever imagine. It's glitched as hell, it's completely weird. It bugs all over the place and it's also super loud. And uh, yeah, some real insane nonsense happens with this thing. Especially at top speed and you just hit something, you go flying. It's also super hard to control. Oh shit. Okay. What? Also, what happened to his... Okay, if you reset, his cloak comes back. You're going to see a lot of weirdness going on right here. Let's just zoom into the streets, see what happens. But... Yeah, you go flying, or you hit something, and this happens. I've got, I'm actually making another video with glitches and weird stuff and the majority of it is from this because it is literally... Let's turn the audio down on that bit. It's super loud and super kind of annoying. But at some point if you glitch out it actually turns off the sound of the engine which is also its own little weird glitch. Let's just jump into the ocean and call it a day. I do want to make this video a bit shorter because I'm aware the last few I've done are like 30-40 minutes. Just for my own sanity to like keep up a decent pace. I want to shorten them down a bit. I'll keep discussing updates. I'll also keep getting better at the game because that's what I really want to do. And... Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh, oh. Let's dive into the ocean. So yeah. Stay tuned, another video tomorrow. Yeesh. Hit that sound. Come on, we can fall into the ocean. We've got to finish it off well, right? Make sense? Probably not. Where are we? Yeah. Thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, plenty of stuff to come, I am getting better at the game, I am starting to like it more and appreciate it, so uh, yeah, thank you, bye, I'm gonna die, see ya.